Hey everyone, welcome back for more Temtem. Now, before we get started, I did want to mention uh, a couple of things. First of all, thank you so much for all your comments and all your support throughout the series. And I do want to give a shout out to a person named Ukrab. I, th I think your name is pronounced. Apologies if I butcher it. But they have been leaving helpful and insightful comments and I just want to say thank you because we were able to fight tamers that we hadn't fought before just to get them out of the way. They're really low level, so nothing to fret about. Y'all didn't miss anything, so just showing you that we fought them. And now we are in Aerosola. Now that we're in Aerosola, we can go ahead and continue to the airship terminal. But before we press on, you see, you know, I actually don't know what it is with me. I think it's because I'm playing, um... So I have an ultra-wide monitor, and I've, like, decreased the window size so that, uh my recording doesn't get all out of whack and so my screen that I'm playing on is, is relatively small so sometimes I miss those sparkly nodes like this one. Oh, these are all just stickers. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, uh, also uh, just to mention as well, I've been putting stickers like on the side like um, off camera. So I've, I've, I have been using the stickers just doing it off camera um, just to save on uh, runtime. But now, we need to speak with Captain Idea Ture. Is it this person? Who's this person? Longshoreman. Okay. Alright. We have quite a few things we need to do when speaking with Captain Idea Ture. Once we speak to the- Oh, this is it. This is the person who is the captain, right? This is Adia? Adia? Hmm. Who are you and what do you want? Are you the airship captain? No, I'm standing here shouting orders to my crew because I'm a pick a pick What do you reckon? You listen to me, Idea. You listen to me, you little shit. I may look 17, but I guarantee I'm older than you. You need to respect your elders. Crap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. Uh, I have a cabin boy for you. Yeah, let's mention um, let's mention that kid. Uh, he's hardworking and nice. Oh, Precipe boy, he has grown up. Uh, how time flies. Oh, they know each other. Okay. He loves airships. I remember being just like that back when I was a child in Kisiwa. Very well then, go and tell the kid to come aboard. We're sailing off soon after finish loading. Tell him to bring the essentials. We're already too heavy. Oh, what the heck? I have to tell him? I have to go all the way back to near Turquesa to do this? Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'll cut to it. Oh, hey, guys. My bad. I completely forgot about this place. So this is the Pajaro Sanctuary area. I accidentally went here <laughs> without even thinking. I went on, like, autopilot. Um, welcome to the Pajaro Drop, the best place to catch wind, Temtem, and also a spectacular backdrop for uh, spectacular battles, Temtem up. Oh, boy. I also missed this in my um, questing and adventure playthrough. Well, okay. <laughs> What turned into going to Turquesa uh, turned into actually exploring this area. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a peek around, especially if it's like a relatively small area that uh, doesn't amount to anything. Might as well check it out, right? So, as far as I know, there's just a bunch of Pajaros here. Uh, they're level 13, this Tamer's uh, Temtem, so we're just going to marshal right through them. Okay, so... Uh, just doing a little bit of exploring. What is this place? Okay, this old lady I think is going to Throw some Temtems at me. Yeah, her Temtems are, are super weak as well. So, gonna go ahead and skip over this. Alrighty. With her, oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't even take a step without having... Oh, a Paha Rock. I'm... You know what? Let's, let's catch this thing. And, and the reason for it is because... I'm not sure if I want to evolve my Paharo. I would think I would just rather catch a Paha Rock. Alrighty, so we caught that Paha Rock. Again, we're, we're, I'm not really a big fan of the Paharos, but we will just keep them and put them in our box. But now that we caught them, you know, we can also release them as well. We don't have to keep them in order to know the weaknesses and stuff. Anyways, we are here. And what is this place? Oh. Paharo drop. Please mind the edges and keep an eye on Temtem and small children. I guess this is where we could go and dive and, and fly, perhaps? All right, well, that is Paharo drop. Let's go ahead and I'll meet you back in a little bit. I'm gonna head to Torquesa now. Okay, we finally made it to the house, and now we need to speak to the kid. I forget which kid was it. Was it you? Please let me know. Okay, Professor. So, so, have you found Ara? Oh, this is the painter kid. All right, so you want to get on the airship, right? Asterion, have you spoken with the captain? Uh, congrats, you have a spot on the narwhal. Hooray! It's amazing. I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly on an airship. Cool. Check on Asterion aboard the Narwhal. Okay, so Asterion's gonna meet us at the Narwhal. 
Oh boy, couldn't you send like a pigeon? Oh my goodness. What a waste of time. That's what you call a time sink when it comes to questing. Not my favorite aspect about this game, but hey, you know, you get these sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're in Aerosolo now. Oh my god. Okay, so we spoke to the captain, and then we have to talk to the captain, I suppose, again, to continue the main quest line. Wow, that was about 20 minutes in real time. Anyways, let's talk to the captain, shall we? Why do you keep bothering me? Because I'm the main protag, ma'am. Mm. Um, but I have a ship to tend to. Yeah, uh, Sophia needs me. Oh, Sophia sends me, sorry. <laughs> she does, does she? Listen, I have great respect for the dojo master and you must be quite the tamer if she trusts you. Mm. But already full crude, I don't need another cabin. A kid in the cabin. Look, I, I just don't know how to make this more self-evident. I'm a grown-ass man. Uh, you can always use a tamer. I don't know why you would think that. Like, do you... Are tamers are also... Do they act like security? Please, I'll do your laundry. I can pilot the airship. I will do the laundry. Tempting. I do hate laundry. Thanks. But no thanks. I have very delicate clothes. Damn. Thought that was my in, folks. Thought that was my in. However, we're missing a passenger, the Amnesian Dojo Master Tatiani. Oh, from Turquesa! She's in Turquesa right now. Can you find her? I might squeeze you in the... Golly! So, I find this person who is holding up the entire airship. Can you believe it? Could you imagine being on another island knowingly holding up the airship and being like, I can't be bothered? Oh, I hate this so much. I bet you some folks who've probably played this game before are probably thinking you should have spoken with her twice because I only spoke with her once, but I'm assuming um, speaking to her twice would have activated both quests so that if I was already there, I could have spoken to um, the kid and then spoken and then went to Turquesa proper and spoke to the dojo master there. Oh boy. What a lame set of circumstances. <laughs> but as usual, I will meet you back half a second your time, a handful of minutes mine. And we are in Turquesa proper, here she is. The Norwal's ready to leave, ma'am. Okay, it's, it's ready to go. But I haven't had anywhere near enough time to finish my study of the local Temtem. Then you stay! Uh, whatever, uh, thank you for letting me know, my friend. Please let the captain know I won't be using the Narwhal. She can take off without me, I'll find another- Thank goodness! What about some payment? Of course, sorry. You've taken the trouble coming all the way here, after all. Hmm. Oh no. I'm afraid I left my wallet at the hotel. By a knock, I'm such a disaster. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe you'd like to keep my ticket. It's already paid for, uh, paid for, and Adia Teray doesn't do refunds, so would you like to visit Omnesia? Look, she said I already had a way to get on the ship. You're gonna give me some money! No, I'm kidding. Fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. A passenger ticket. Thank you. Sorry about that. Tell, uh, tell you what. Come see me in Nanga, and I'll give you a proper reward, okay? <sighs> Whatever, a loser. Okay, so I will see you in a half a second. Again, uh, I feel like <laughs> I just feel like this is gonna be the most clickbaity video ever. Because I, I was planning to name the video "Off on an Airship" or "Airship Abound" or "We Ride the Airship," but for like the first five minutes, I'm just like catching up on quests that <laughs> are like mandatory finishes before I can leave. Oh my god! Okay, okay, I will see you in a little bit. Bye bye. See you soon! Hey everyone, welcome back for more I Never Get On The Airship, JK, JK, get me on the airship, damn you! And now we're gonna go ahead and speak to Aria Teray. Alright, alright, you have a ticket, so go talk to Augustine and tell him you're taking Tahani's birth. Move it, and we have to sail off. Great. And that person is also in Turquesa. No, I'm kidding. Could you imagine? I'm, I would just turn off this game. <laughs> oh, but who are all these folks? Okay, whatever. I could care less. Get me on the damn boat, please. On the damn boat. Uh, can I see your ticket? You know what? I have to. I have something. I have to go back, actually. Sorry about that. I'm kidding. We're gonna get on the damn boat. Get me on this ship right now. Uh, very well. Seems everything's in order. Welcome aboard. Yes, doors to the left. Jeez. You code. Don't you run from me, January. Oh, Max, my good, dearest friend, loving and caring as always, catching me at the utmost time. Hmm. Excuse me, but only passengers with tickets are allowed on the NAR. 
getting away so you don't have to face me again, hey January. I imagine him to be like so self-obsessed and full of rage. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then he has, then he sounds something like that and it just completely throws you off. Well, I don't see Professor Constant Constantinos around here, so this time I'm not holding back. He draws out a gun. Could you imagine he pulls out a gun? He's like, I've had it with this rivalry. I'm just going to assault you. Here's the thing, kid. I feel ya, and I sense where a lot of this anger is coming from. A lot of it is this rage that has been built up for over a long period of time of the community constantly backing me instead of backing you. And I get that, and you should be in your own feelings. And I want to validate that experience for you by saying I acknowledge that, but you don't Everyone, sorry about that. So my audio just crashed. Hopefully everything is still in order. I did take some uh, gameplay footage, so you should be seeing the opening sequence. Really sorry about that, as if anything else can go wrong. Um, looks like everything is running just fine, however, so we should be okay now. Anyways, okay, so let's go back to the game, shall we? So Max, in all of his rage, has decided to um, commit an act of assault. Uh, 23 and 23, okay, well, just by sheer power we should eviscerate this fool. But we'll go ahead and open up strong. So on this shark Temtem, Thundershock, and then we're gonna hit Leoli with some Urashal. We're gonna throw some toxins on him. Yep, they get to make moves first. Love, love to, love to see that. This should knock out Pyrion. Oh, he still has something. Alright, we're gonna DC beam. And then, you know what, we're actually gonna just do Yurashal, whatever comes first here. Oh, they have priority, okay. There we go. Leoli is gonna take a big hit here, but it would be relatively safe. I don't want to pull Scaravault out just yet. Okay, we have Genki. I feel comfortable pulling Scaravault out now. Go ahead and switch you out for... We don't have any um, Earth types or Ground types, so we're going to have to just power through it. And the only person I know best, or person, <laughs> the only Temtem I know who best powers through fools is Hazel. Hazel is yoked. She benches, uh, works on cardio. And she should be able to send Genki to the nether. With Laioli down, Barnshi makes me want to pull out... Wh Aluma? Who <laughs> Max. Max, did you spend a week on that mountain <laughs> grinding for Barnshi? You little psychopath. You don't need to go ahead. Do you don't need to do any of that. To impress anybody. Okay, so we're gonna send Scaravolt out. I know she only has a, a couple of HP, but as long as she can get maybe one DC beam out, I, I think that would be worth it. So we can open up with uh, Martial Strike. We could have used Sand Splatter because it is a ground attack. However, because Genki is half wind, it doesn't really count as a. That's sad. That makes me sad. Okay. Um, because it's half wind, it doesn't really do too much here. Okay, so we're gonna go with Saku. We have to. Um, all our other Temtems are susceptible to electricity, including Hoichek. So, just to show you, we'll, you'll do Sand Splatter there, just to show you. Um, as much as you'd want that to be a weakness, it's, it's just not. And I think that's because of ha the half type of it being wind. Um, can we hit here? Wow, they are yoked. Okay, so we have Inner Spirit, and I'm going to use that for Barnes. Oh, wait, wait, red? It is resistant to it, apparently. Okay, we're going to, f wow, Fear Strike and Inner Spirit wouldn't do too well here. We're gonna save Hazel then. It's gonna be a little interesting. We'll send out to Y, okay? And then we're gonna Yurashal and take out the Genki. What move is that? Intimidation? What is that? Defense down or something? What is that? What are we doing here?
All right, what is their next move? Max, what else you got? Ori? Uh, Ori is digital. What's weak to digital? Electricity beats digital. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I know if we lose, we can always heal, but I don't want to lose. So we're gonna use revive on Scaravolt. And then we're going to... Let's do allergic spread. Let's see how this takes. Wow! Why did it do that? <laughs> Not only did it overexert itself, it knocked out half of its HP. Ore has elect electric abilities. That's that's interesting. All right, we're gonna do humiliating slap on. Let's just do shrill voice. How about it? And then we will do bomb plus on Scaravolt. I don't mind too much if Tawai gets knocked out, that's totally fine. At this point, we were using it as ca cannon fodder. Alright, Scaravolt's gonna come out next, and this should be game. We should be able to call game here, folks. So we're gonna go ahead and DC... No, we're gonna Thunderstrike. Uh, Oray. And then Allergic Spread again. Oh, oh shoot! I didn't realize that... Oh, allergic spread is gonna eat into Saku's HP. I wasn't paying. I wasn't paying attention there. All right, there we go. At least we knocked out Barnshee's evasion, and there goes Saku. Yeah, that was a complete misread on my part. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> oh boy. Yes, grasp for straws. You think your Temtems are powerful than mine, but what I have better than you may not be my Temtems, but it's my money. I can afford HPs and revives, Max. Can you? All right, so this is pretty much it. <laughs> oh, Max, what can you do when someone has more money than you? Okay, um, we're going to wait for Scaravolt. Oh, no, I know Scaravolt's gonna need some HP. Um, also, if you're watching this, please don't use um, bombs or tonics or revives like I'm doing. Do the opposite of what I'm doing. I'm simply being, like, petty and forcing the issue. <laughs> like, you don't need to go the extra mile like I am right now. I just I just don't want to lose. I, I just want to beat Max here and call it a day. There we go. There's Barnshee. And I believe Scaravolt should get some water damage here, that's why I, I healed it. Oh, no! A non-damage move. Idiot, Max. This was your time to use a brain cell. Alright, we're gonna use Thunderstrike to finish- No, wait, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna use DC Beam, because I just realized <laughs> Psy Surge. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we're gonna use Telekinetic Shrapnel. This will be it for Psypat. Oh, it's still hanging on, still hanging on. There's that water attack. Now we're gonna have you just chill and wait. We don't need you to be all crazy about it. There we go, Clairvaux with the telekinetic shrapnel putting Max in his place. But remember, we are the bad guys. We were the bullies. So now as Max breaks down and weeps because we eviscerated his Temtems. What? It's impossible. He said I'd be invincible with this digital Temtem. He said, she said, many people say, you know, that you would be in invincible with digital Temtem. But here we're going to tell him it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry and let out all those feelings. We got a thousand pan suns. Love to see it. You're a cheater. You never played fair. You're always Professor Constantino's favorite. And you know, it's very true. And that is the hard part of it. Because as much as you want to claim that we, January, are the protagonist, that we are some sort of hero, we truly aren't. With as much privilege as we received as a protagonist, as much help as we received from the community and from Professor Constantinos, to see Max on the receiving end of this and, and feeling left out and just a burden to our community, it's, it's an awful thing, it's an awful thing, and I agree with Max, you know, perhaps, no, more than a cheater, Max, we're not a cheater, actually, we're privileged. And that's the problem. 
Well, you better watch your back from now on. One day, one day we'll show you. See, this is where, you know, it gets really violent and he may, he may try to push us off a cliff one day. Hmm. What was that? Are you okay, January? Are your Temtem hurt? No, but he is. Max is hurting right now. And I think it should be up to us to allow him to go through the process of those feelings, but better more be there for him when he comes out of it, you know? Hmm. Shut up, come with me. I'll show you to the birth so that you can nap and relax. Thanks, Augustine. Thank you, guy I just met. We are in the Narwhal, finally, on an airship. We are here. One-eyed Matthew. Captain, all passengers aboard. You know what's the sad thing is? He actually just prefers Matthew. Everyone here is just very arrogant. Thank you, Mr. One-Eyed Matthew. Unmoor the narwhal. Aye, aye, Captain. Unmooring her. Attention, all hands. We are sailing off. Mr. Kamal. Mm -hmm. First mate. We're unmoored and ready to sail off. Or Kimal. Could be Kamal. Kimal? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Navigator. We're sailing on your command, Captain. Mm -hmm. Set sail, Navigator. Give us a course of the Meyer... Uh, is it the Meyer Isles? Or the Meyer Lees? Um, and Port Nanga. I'll take the helm. Mm -hmm. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, you're awake. Did you sleep well? Was your birth comfortable? I Yes, I was just born. Hope your Temtem -tem got a good night's sleep, too. We made good headway. Soon we'll be arriving in Nanga, Amnesia's main port. Oh, I almost forgot. The captain said to speak with her. She's upstairs. On the other hand, have a great flight in January. Thank you, February. Alrighty, so now we've just woken up. Our Tem Tem are hurt. What the heck was this? I thought when it's implied that you went to sleep, he healed your Tem Tem. That's not the case? He didn't heal your Tem Tem? What the heck kind of... Oh my god, well, what was the point in emphasizing you resting? I would rather my Temten rest than me. I can take a beating, they don't assault tamers here. Anyways, our Temtem are hurt and need help. But let's see what we can do around here. Have a good flight, January, how can I help you? Uh, what do I have to do? Uh, what do you do here? Just getting to know the ship. Explore to your heart's content. Let's ask other questions. Just talk to the, okay, he's like a steward, got it. Is there a way to heal our Temtem? What's going on here? Isn't it magnificent that the Narwhal keeps an excellent onboard library? It's one of those things I really like about the ship. Interesting. Eat any good books lately? I'll let you read in peace then. No worries, see you around. Okay, what do you gotta say, kid? Good day, may I? January, is that you? Jan oh, this is Asterion! Good to see you, Asterion. Nepotism has served you well, I see. How is the job going? Swimmingly, Captain is harsh, but mostly under Augustine. You know, making beds. Oh, he works under uh, Augustine mostly. Good for you, kid. Hey, I got to go back to work, but I wanted to say thank you, Janner. Really, this is amazing, and I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, yeah, you really wouldn't be. And honestly, I don't blame you, Asterion. This is more of a systemic issue and a societal problem that is happening in the world of Temtem, that you have to rely on someone like me just to get ahead. It's... It's an incredibly sad situation, and I, and I feel for you, kid. I really do. Oh, money? <laughs> Why, thank you. No, kid, no. Save it. You're just starting out. Your family is going through a lot, and you need someone like me to uplift your family. That's how tumultuous and just terrible your living situation is. I'm surprised you have an entire island to yourself. So you save it, and um, maybe send it back home. No, I insist. Okay, but I still want to give you something for your trouble. I know, ha have my old Temtem? Okay, what is the age here? Because I see kids that are your age telling me they can't have Temtem. Are you also a 30-year-old man, just with a height problem, like me? I barely have time or space to care for him here on the Narwhal. I know you'll be good to him. Oh, no, you should really hold on to your Temtem. Like, if, if you're going to give me a Temtem, I'd rather take, like, your money then. Because Temtems are, like, Temtems aren't trading cards, okay? They're animals to be hunted and skinned and eaten and killed, but also to be made friends, all right? We don't just trade them like property. Oh, we get a puke. <laughs> what has I draw? What? What? This pukey is insane. Why would you give this to me? This thing is a stud. Look at its SVs. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Is this why you're, like, 
living in tough times because you and by extension your family continues to make bad decisions this is terrible i can't take this <laughs> no i just i can't take your attempt i'm gonna release it kidding of course we're taking it and now i gotta do some work have a great flight peace bro single and training oh yes svs you know lvs nvs lvns rns nurses <laughs> okay so let's go down is it the storage room Good day, passengers are not supposed to be on the lower decks. Please, I just want to look around. Well, considering how everything seems to be in order, I suppose there's nothing wrong with you doing so. What do you do in the Norwal? I'm the first officer, captain's right hand, mm -hmm. which sometimes means verifying Carl perfectly matches the papers and a slight mismatch, then give me an ass headaches. Okay, perhaps I can help you, okay? If there's something wrong with the, with the cargo, um, you can trust a random stranger like myself to help you keep things in order. I was not asking for help. Forgive me for apparently seeming to imply that, which would be intolerable breach of maritime regulations. No passenger should be required to do so. Oh, okay, thanks, One-Eyed Matthew. But in case you were wondering, that is indeed another reason why I'm uneasy about the passengers spending time in the hold. We are missing some apples, a couple of packages of dried seaweed. Seems like somebody is famished. Okay, I see. I'll let you know if I can do anything about it. Jeez, everyone needs help around here. I'm trying to think back to... Because I, I, I do remember this as a quest in... Uh, in early access. I'm trying to think back what the story was. Look at this person. Hey! Oh, it's a stowaway! Oh man, you gave me a scare. I thought you were that tight-ass officer. If he catches me, I'm a goner. Come on, I don't think he's that harsh. I'm not going to risk it anyway. And lower your voice, you can hear us. How'd you get on board? I snuck around the terminal in Denez until I saw my chance. Then I pried open an, uh, a barrel of apples and waited until they rolled it in here. Um, I've never been so dizzy in my life. What's your plan? Scurry out as soon as we reach Omanesia, spend some time here, explore, live, great adventures, and then... Oh, just sneak into another ship when I get bored. Life is too big and beautiful to live on a single island. Nah, hey, ain't that the truth, buddy. If you can do whatever you can in your own life to get ahead, you should. I just had to help this kid out. He asked for me to pull some favors to get on board this ship. It ain't easy. It ain't easy, and I feel ya. It's the life I chose, or a life I choose, buddy. Come visit me in Omanese sometime. Okay, I guess I can't report him, which I wouldn't have, by the by. Anyways, what do you do on the Norwal? Just a first officer. Got it. What's your story? That I'm a first officer. Come on. Well, I spent most of my time on the airships. That, I'm, that much I can say. Not all of them were respectable. So you're saying you are a pirate? Now, where would you get such a preposterous idea as he pulls a gun on me? I'm kidding. All right, I cannot wait for Palworld. World. <laughs> Anyways, let us check these rooms. Um, what do you got to say? Hi, how are you, handsome? Oh my goodness, you're Vis... Uh, Visacia? Who are you? Oh, you don't know? Well, I'm Vis... Visacia. No, I mean, I was in the Sword of High Above. Oh, haven't seen it. Uh, hmm, well, I'm an actress. Pleased to meet you. January. Hi. Hi. Uh, so do you want an autograph? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I was just trying to be an, an obstruction to everybody by just randomly speaking to them. All right, okay, well, nice meeting you. Close the door when you leave, okay? Just kidding, give me an autograph! So, like, tomorrow I'm shooting at location. Could you please give me some rest in a private room, please? I should have asked for an autograph. Also, if she's single. Okay, let us go to this room. Okay, so I'm just going through these rooms right now. It doesn't seem like there's too much happening, to be quite honest. Is this the... Oh, this is the kitchen. Oh, don't tell me it's lunchtime already, and we still have to finish the seaweed stew. What do you want? Um, what's for dinner? Dinner? Well, it'll be in Nanga by then. You'll have dinner in the Myrlees, my good friend. Meanwhile, I'm making seaweed stew for lunch. Good for you, pal. Good for you. All right, nothing here. Just chefs talking about food, as you'd expect. Um, let's see. What else can we do here? Where can we go to heal our Temtem? Like, that's my question, really. Huh, these rooms are... Oh, weird. Oh, this is like the captain's quarters or navigation room? Kamal, hmm, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I can't be talking to passengers of a plot to course. Uh, where was that chart again? Cool. Good for you, pal. 
And this is the engine room. Passengers are not supposed to be here. These machines are fidgety. Please don't touch anything. How does this work? Explain everything. Some purists will tell you that with a real captain at the helm, you don't really need engines on an airship. And sure, a good helmswoman knows how to use the terminals and trade winds to their advantage, but you don't want to rely on that alone, right? You want to be able to land accurately near a mooring mast, hopefully at your destination, and if, say, there's a gale coming from the Arborian cloud front, you don't want to have it to give up and get back home. Okay, got it, got it. Been on the Narwhal long? Just a couple of years when they rehauled the engines, really. You should have seen the old coffee maker they had before. It coughed, it sputtered worse than my granny. Great, got it. I'll leave you to your machines, lady. Peace out. I guess there's no Temtem healing area. What happens if, like, Temtems get in trouble on here? They don't heal them? Hello, sit with me a minute, fellow traveler. I'm bored to death. If only I could at least get up and walk a bit, damn leg. Yeah, sorry to see that. What happened to your leg? Unlucky accident, surfing, trying to learn how to surf, really. So, first time I go into the Solari River and I crash into a coral reef. Yikes. Quite embarrassing, and I nearly drowned, but the embarrassment was the worst bit, and obviously I can't work on the book like this. I don't know what you're talking about, I could care less. <laughs> you can still write, can't you? Yeah, well, I can write. The problem is I don't know what to write about, you see? I'm a travel writer. I'm working on the tourist guide of the archipelago, and that was a reason I was in Dinez in the first place, but what I started on the wrong foot, so to speak. Huh, well, how can I help? I help, I appreciate that, but are you a writer? Even if you were, it's unethical, you know? I should write my truthful impressions of the place I visited. I can do the visiting for you. Wait, how long is your leg gonna be out? Yikes. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just do everything for your quests, and I will be the travel writer. I will be part of the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Planning to visit any other- yeah, I'm- yes. That's where I'm going, yes. Wherever- wherever my quest takes me. Okay, what? But that's a weird way to close that out. Okay, I think I have to talk to her when she's at home. Got it. Hold on. I know we have to talk to the captain. I'm just gonna do another once-over on this ship just to see if there was like a place to heal my Temtems and I just didn't see it. Okay, well if there was a place to heal my Temtem and I didn't- I just didn't see it. Adia to Ray comes our passenger January. Don't forget it. That's me. I'll say, oh captain, my captain. Ah. None of that. You're not one of my sailors. Yikes, calm down, Adia. Ever heard of a joke? Mm -hmm. See that blurry outline on our 12? Those are the Meyer Isles, or the Meyer Lees. How do you pronounce this? I wish you were voice acted. Very blurry. Yes, I know that's a lot of smoke. I have no idea what's going on there, but the visibility is terrible today. Once we get into that massive cloud ahead, we won't see a thing, which means we'll have to trust our chronometer and the accuracy of our charts to land in Port Nanga. Ah. Mr. One-Eyed Matthew, oh, where the heck is, doesn't matter. January, go fetch me the navigational charts. Aye, aye, sa. I am not a sa. Go find Kamal, the navigation officer. Chop, chop, land lover. Weird you would trust a nobody like myself to find this stuff. All right, give me your most trusted charts, Kamal. Uh, the captain needs a charts now. Damnation, she needs it already. All right, give me a second. I'm sorry, I'm just not the finest today. I shouldn't have let Aklana convince me to spend the night at Syracuse. My head is killing me. Hey, can you please get me some coffee, black? As strong as the kitchen can make, please. How does this ship run when I'm not here? Strong coffee will help, sarcasm will not. Jeez, what the heck? I'm not even getting paid for this. You know, I don't understand. I hate doing things when I'm not paid for it. It's like I'm running a charity over here, which, and you could argue I am in a lot of ways. All right, give me coffee. Shallots. Where are those shallots? I, I need coffee. Thank you for the coffee. And word to the wise, once he gets his caffeine fix, get out of there fast. He gets super hyper. Good luck with the shallots. And if he tells me that he needs cream and sugar, I'm gonna tell him to stick it where the sun don't shine. Here's your coffee, and then I throw it right into his face. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness, there it is. Gulp? Oh, wow, he finished all of it. Uh, now about those charts. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, here they are. Gulp, turn 15 degrees. Uh, yes, yes, here they are, and now we turn 15 degrees here. Great, we're in amnesia. You see, can you see it? Look, I just, I just need the charts. Mm -hmm. You think so? Eh, well, maybe the charts, yes, here, take them, bring them to the captain. Yes, okay, uh, whatever you say, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Uh, you handed over the charts. 
Good. East by northeast, as I supposed, and that's a direct course. Just a matter of time now. Thanks, January. Just let me know when you want to disembark. Really? Simple as that, huh? I'm gonna do another once over at the uh, cargo hold. I know there's a guy just chilling there. Want to make sure if there's a quest to complete down there that uh, I can complete it. Okay, there's nothing down here, so gonna go ahead and land the narwhal. Well, passenger, ready to disembark? Uh, yeah, let's land. Very well, get your gear. We'll be mooring in a minute. Nice. There wasn't too much to do there. A lot of, not a lot, but a bit of busy work on that ship. I'm not sure why we even had that intermission to be honest. Nanga, we've just moored at Nanga. All passengers for Nanga, please. We are here. We are in a new island. Congratulations to you and to me and to everyone watching, really. <laughs> no, we're in Nanga. Welcome to Amnesia. Great. We're we're on a, we're in a new place. Welcome to the Mar Isles, Captain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I feel at home in Nanga. I really hope you do, Adia Ture. I'm afraid it's going to be a long stay. I have 20 crates of sea salt to unload, then I'm picking up a shipment of fruit and we're off to Kisiwa. I'm afraid that won't be possible, old friend. Anak Volcano has gone into eruption. That old volcano, but I thought it was dormant. And it was, but it is no more. The winds are blowing all that volcanic ash towards Kisiwa. The plum is so thick we're diverting all traffic to Denez. It's too much of a navigational hazard for anything flying that way. My rotten luck. Sorry about that, Adea Tere. You'll be the first to know once the route is clear again. But I suggest you and your crew get comfortable. It could be a hot second. A molten second, if you will. Well, you heard the news. We're stuck here until the volcano calms down. We might as well enjoy it. Mr. One-Eyed Matthew, please. Aye, aye, Captain. All hands and officers, shore leave until new orders. And thus it was. Well, January, enjoy Amnesia, I guess. Say, where will you be heading now? None of your goddamn business. I'm looking for the dojo. Well, you're in luck. There are two dojos in Amnesia, the one here in Nanga and the other one in Mokopuni. What's your business there? I'm going to thrash them. That is my business. Mm -hmm. Best of luck. We'll be here for a while. Nice. Okay, we are in a new island. How exciting. There's still a lot to explore. And with that, we will... Uh, look, uh, yeah, uh, excuse me. No, I don't. Sorry. No, thanks. Oh, wait, I said sure. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of lore that I definitely read. Okay, I was trying to hit this. First Guildmaster Aruma damaged. Interesting. Okay, anyways, we did quite a bit, I want to say. It, it probably doesn't feel that way to you because we only, you know, were in the airship or whatever. But for me, because there's a lot of gameplay to go through, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I want to thank all of you for joining me throughout this journey playing Temtem, and I appreciate your support. And if you want to support the channel, please click the link in the description below for your... I'm just kidding, there's nothing, there's not, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Just shut up! I do appreciate your support, and I do appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, I will see you then. Bye for now.